Howdy everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. All right, so people have been asking about how do you get your own trading bot. I've listened, I've listened to my students, I guess you could call them. They've been wanting this, so I've delivered it yesterday. It took me no more than two hours, maybe three hours to, to write. So when you come into the uh, store, you get signed up for the course, Python 3 Algo Trading Course, uh, infrastructure building block uh, once you get signed up you will get access to a brand new module or unit really at the very end so once you go through all of the necessary uh, required learning I'll tell you exactly what modules you'll need um, and how this thing works so if you go all the way to the very last module you'll see here something called demo crypto trading bot template so basically how it works is I like to do source code walkthroughs. I've provided uh, a 53 minute video here to walk you through the code. I give you the source code, which basically includes for those that have been asking for something like this. Uh, it contains basically uh, all Python, of course, a scheduled bot and schedules two scripts, a watch list, and a position manager call it that and what this does it will go through the watch list it will only watch but you can pretty well watch anything you want with an array of a fixed set of pairs that you can hard code into the into the source code uh, in this demo I have five uh, in there it also demonstrates how to use and download uh, the market data in our case Binance so hopefully my students are familiar with this script to market, download the market data from CCXT. That's all ready to go. Uh, and then from there, all you got to do is set the schedule, your time frame that you want. It will download the code uh, every five minutes if you want. It just depends how you schedule it within the bot. I go over that um, in the code view uh, video walkthrough. Uh, also, from there, you can use, it demonstrates using TA lib, using a simple moving average with very, two different uh, periods for one for fast moving, slow moving. You can use that as a cross for your entry, so I demonstrate that. And then once you put on a position into a, a standard flat file, which is a position text file, so there's no Redis, there's no database, there's no charting, it's very primitive, very basic strip down. And then from there, you can use the position manager because you're using the position text file where your, your open positions will be um, stored. And then in the position file, in this one, the position Python script, that will take care of downloading minute data and then analyzing the minute data, waiting for, using TALib again, a classic exit strategy, which is your... Uh, uh, ent uh, a simple moving average of a, a, a fast and a moving again for the exit. So it's all I'm using. In there, you can clearly do any type of eight, eight, uh, any kind of indicator you want with TA lib, uh, be it it's over 300. Uh, you could use it for ATR average true range, which is the classic one, which a lot of people use. And on the entry with the TA lib, um, I have talked about numerous times using candle patterns for early counter candle patterns for the entry so you could virtually just play around and experiment with ta lib to figure out which which uh indicators you work for you technical classic technical indicator uh in classic indicators for using technical analysis and candles for both your entry and your exit and use this little position uh, text file to, to ma maintain your open positions. Uh, it's very primitive, but it works. And as I said, a lot of people have been asking for something like this. So now I demonstrate that using the simplistic framework that I demo in this course. Um, and you own it. And you own everything you get from this course as well. Uh, so this is pretty powerful now where people have been asking, how do I get a bot? This is how you get it using source code at the very end. So if, for instance, you don't understand this module, that means you've not gone through the entire course. But 
a real world, we'll call it a great example of using a bot for trading, for crypto, for instance, um, you can use this right here. So there you go. It's up and running. I've tested it. It can kind of work for any type of pair you want with a broker like, or sorry, an exchange like Binance. And there's really no other exchange you want out there. Binance is clearly one of the most honest and largest uh, exchanges out there in the world for cryptocurrency and really for automated trading using their uh, API. So that's it. I've delivered. Hopefully people take a full advantage of that when they come back to me asking via Facebook or whatever, how do I do it? I want a bot. This is where I'm going to point them. All right. So uh, for the money, it's very cheap, very cheap, uh, and it's very reliable. I've shown you time and time again um, my my uh, clearly my watch list um Track record here, uh, hopefully you've seen it a few days ago. We got over 31%, and it's always been positive, and I'm using this no different, but I'm just using different combination of T, uh, TA Lib uh, for my needs with this similar bot, and all you got to do is just figure it out. But in this course, I dropped the hints pretty loud and clear. So there you go. I've delivered it. Hopefully everybody's happy, and we shall talk to you later. Have a good day.